Sammy Hitsky here. Now I'm not out on the water today, I'm in the kitchen and I want to show you three of my favourite ways of preparing sashimi. Now you only need five ingredients but I guarantee you're going to impress your friends and convince those non-believers who don't eat raw fish. Actually, seven ingredients if you include the two types of fish I've got here today. Now, the ingredients we've got with us, we've got a lemon, we've got soy sauce, garlic aioli, roast sesame dressing, and of course, wasabi. Now I'm lucky enough, I got two great fish the other day. I got an amberjack and a Spanish mackerel. I've already cut the Spanish mackerel up, but I'm gonna show you how to prepare the amberjack and cut it up really nicely. So, I've got two beautiful hunks of meat here. And what you wanna to do to prepare that fish is to make sure all the blood lines are removed. So you need a sharp knife for that. All the little red bits of flesh, that's the bloodline. It's not as tasty as the real deal, so get rid of it, and it makes presentation a lot better as well. A little bit there as well. Shave that off. That'll do. Now what we want to do is cut these into thin slithers, about three mil, about three mil thick, and then that way we can present them nicely on a plate and they're the perfect size for eating. So nice sharp knife, one swift little movement, and cut those little slithers up. So what you're left with is a nice bite-sized slither, not too thick, beautiful piece of fish. So I'll finish the rest of this fish off. So we've got our, our slithers there, now to arrange them nice and neatly on the plate because presentation is the key. So we want to put them on here. It's a bit thick, we'll leave him out. It's going to present nice, very nicely next to that Spanish mackerel. Both got different textures and different flavours. Um, they're both excellent sashimi fish, very highly regarded. Up there with your tunas and kingfish. It's going to be an absolute treat for later on. And that little guy can go there. So that's our fish preparation done. Time to get on to the first sauce. Now the first one's a simple one, and it's as easy as a dollop of wasabi. We want to put that in the centre here. Dollop of wasabi, and then a splash of soy sauce in a little bowl. And that's one of the more traditional ways that the Japanese people eat sashimi. Now the next two, it's a little more westernised, suits a different palate, and it's got some great flavours with it as well. So we want to grab our lemon, cut him in half, squeeze most of the juice out of half a lemon into a bowl. Get it all out. Like so. Grab your wasabi. You want to put about an inch of wasabi in there. Now wasabi's pretty hot, so if you're not a massive fan of spice, put a little less in. If you love it, put some more in. Now grab a teaspoon, and you want to mix that wasabi up with the lemon juice to make a nice green milky milky liquid. And there you go. So nice green milky, it's all mixed together. Now to that, add your soy sauce. You want to add about double the liquid you've already got in there. Now it's okay if you see little chunks of wasabi, that's fine. They're going to be a bit of a flavour hit for you when you dip your fish in. Stir it up. And then taste. Oh, that's good. Nailed it. 
So if you find there's a bit too much lemon there, you can add some more soy sauce, more wasabi, chuck a bit more in. It's up to you and your personal taste. So we'll chuck him right there. And now for the final sauce. Now this final sauce, my dad actually created. He's not a chef by any means, but he's absolutely nailed this one. Come up with a winner. Now what you're gonna need, again, grab your wasabi. You wanna chuck another, about an inch in the bottom of your bowl. Garlic aioli, and probably maybe double what the wasabi in there. So two inch, then grab another clean teaspoon and mix those guys together. Now, when that's the right ratios, you should have a, a greeny paste. And you can already smell the fragrance coming out in that. Like so. To that, grab your roast sesame dressing. And again, maybe add about the equal amount, maybe a touch more to what the liquid is you got in there. That'll do it. Mix together. And of course, as always, give it a taste. That's good. I'm getting good at this. One of my favourite ways to have fish when I get home from a big trip. Can't even wait to cook it. Straight out on the plate raw. Few of these sauces, absolutely beautiful. And we want that one to sit there. Now there's a trick to eating it. So you can't eat them all the same way. Each has got their own little characteristics. So the first way we're gonna try it is traditional. Grab yourself a piece of sashimi, like so. Wipe it on your wasabi. Then dip it in the plain soy sauce. Shake it off and straight down the hatch. Oh, it's good, it's good. Having fresh produce really, really helps as well. Absolutely beautiful. Now, oh, that's beautiful. Now the second way, you actually need to leave it in there. So the one with the lemon juice in it, the lemon juice actually cures and almost half cooks the fish. So you want to put it in there and let it sit there for 30 to 30 seconds to a minute and let the, uh, the lemon juice react with the flesh. So we're going to grab a couple of pieces and put them in there. And we'll grab them in a second. Then our third and final sauce, the more creamier, creamy one. That's as simple as grab your, grab your bit of fish, dip it in, and again, straight down the hatch. Stop it. That is absolutely unreal. Mm. Now, give these guys another couple of seconds. For the lemon to react, and you'll know when it's ready because the skin, the uh, sorry, the fish actually starts to change colour. It goes a bit whiter, and that's as a result of the lemon juice kicking in. So, this should be ready to rock and roll now. Oh, I don't think there's going to be much of this left by the time I'm finished with it. That's cracking. Unreal. Well guys, there you have it. That's three of my favourite ways to prepare sashimi. Hope you like it. If you try it out, make sure you hit me up in the comments and tell us how it went. And as always, subscribe and like. There's plenty more stuff to come. Thanks guys. Have a good one.